Hi everyone, my name is Frankie and welcome to The Pop Crowd. Now before I get to unboxing the Pro Wrestling Crate, I want to say hello to everyone who hasn't seen my face in many months. Now the reason why I haven't uploaded anything is basically due to actually my computer. It's not that it broke or anything wrong with it, like stuff like that, but basically I had to update my uh, operating system within my Mac. And since I was using a very old Mac desktop that ran 10.7.5 operating system, YouTube basically would not allow Chrome to upload any videos to it. So I had to wait a very long time to gather enough money and finances to basically update my computer and its operating system. Now we're all good. An unboxing shall commence. Yes, we shall continue with this month's May... 2020's Pro Wrestling Crate. Now, I am unfamiliar with this month's crate. I know last month had to do with America. I don't remember what this month's uh, crate should be. And by the way, I'm in a new area. I just moved this way because I got a bunch of stuff on the side over here. But uh, as we have normally done, put the box to the side reach in, take the spoiler card, throw it away, throw it away. Uh, by the way, the reason why I'm not wearing the Dusty shirt uh, from last month, or the other shirt, I, I think it was the Kurt Angle shirt, uh, is basically, I worn those two already, so I have Captain America, big a day, you know, last month's theme was America, so, reach it in, and we have black shirt, ooh, unscripted Mox Violence, John Moxley shirt. That's pretty cool. I gotta say, I like it. I, I dig the skull. I, I actually dig the depth of the skull itself with the darkness in the eyes. It really stands out. Uh, of course, I enjoy the orange spray paint. Very cool shirt. Thank you very much. And it's soft. And no smell whatsoever on the clothing. You know, many people are aware that like some smell like factories or because of the ink and stuff like that. Doesn't smell. Great. Fantastic. Reaching in. Oh, CM Punk. It's a sticker. Okay. Cool. Reaching back in, and we have... Ooh. Ooh. This is... This looks good. We have the Elite. This is a really fancy schmancy shirt right here. I wouldn't say fancy schmancy, but this looks straight out of the 80s. Anything on the back? No. You know, I'm kind of, like... I'm waiting for something to get printed on the back for some reason. I, I don't know why, but that tag looks like it's got to come off. This thing looks like it's going to scratch my neck. I don't know why, but it looks that way as it's standing out. No smell on the shirt. Looks really cool. Looking forward to wearing it. Reaching in for this month. Uh, Micro Bowl, I feel. Yes. Ooh. Matt Cardona, a.k.a. Zack Ryder. First off, check this sick super soaker. As you know, I have the strength of a little baby. Never fear. I do have a scissor somewhere on this. Oh, 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 never mind. Don't need it. I'm digging the super soaker. And the super soaker has some plastic on it, too. Huh? Now, I'm pretty sure that grenade there, for those unfamiliar with like the setup here, uh, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, uh, Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, uh, a.k.a. Kurt Hawkins, Zack Ryder has this uh, gimmick that they do called Stomp. Now, it's sort of like, back in the day, WWE released these Stomp action figures, so I forgot what the STOP actually stands for, but it's supposedly like a military task force that basically protected the, the world in some way, and it was made up by these wrestlers. So Matt and, and Brian really liked the idea, so they decided on doing their own version of STOP. And this is the whole thing with the military getup, the super soaker. I think this is a water balloon grenade, but it looks really cool. Uh... I'm pretty sure Smart Mark Sterling's part of their stomp crew, Chelsea Green, and Swaggle, a.k.a. Hornswaggle. But, uh, I'm gonna go put it... Now, I am rearranging my kitchen right now, and I've got a bunch of stuff up. 
I don't have my uh, figures up at the moment, but I have filmed them and I know the exact order because I know many people are anal when it comes to like stuff being out of order because it messes up with a lot of people's OCD, which I respect and it's cool. I've taken a video of that. I know where it goes, but this shall be on the next video in its proper place. So, reaching in this box and receiving... Ooh, a Marty Scroll villain shirt. Well, not villain shirt, villain pin. That's cool. Now, I also have the board. I have a bunch of pins to put up, so I will show you the board and how it's looking uh, during the next video as well. This mo Ooh! Cactus Jack! Uh... High Spots Wrestling Network, best 999 in the biz, presents Bang Bang, best of Cactus Jack and ECW. This is great. Uh, featuring Cactus Jack versus Tommy Dreamer in, in a no punches allowed match. Uh, Cactus Jack versus Sabu, versus Sandman, versus Terry Funk, versus Hack Myers. Hack Myers is in the early years of uh, ECW. Uh, Cactus Jack. Raven and Stevie Richards versus Pitbulls and Tommy Dreamer. That sounds like it's going to be a sick match right there. But uh, looking forward to this. Reaching back in and we have a book. <gasps> the Elite Team Cody Heart of the Mountain. This is cool. Now, for those of you wondering, uh, so far Pro Wrestling Crate has given to us, uh, uh, the subscribers to the... Uh, Pro Wrestling Crate box. First was the uh, Colt Cabana book. Then we had the Young Bucks book. And now we have the Cody Rhodes book. Oh, there's something on the inside. And it's a Cody trading card as a kid. Story by Cody. Illustrations by Dylan Coburn. Looks pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this. And I'm very happy and pleased that they're doing this. Because... Uh, I, I, I don't have kids, but people who are parents that subscribe to the Monthly Crate has something to show their children to read to them at night. That's fantastic. I really, really enjoy that. Uh, reaching in. Trying to get the autograph out. Okay. This month's autograph is... Let's see. Oh, this way. Ooh. Adam Page. The hangman. Digging the horse. Uh, apparently I heard that this horse passed away. Uh, sorry to down anybody, everybody about that, but uh, that's what I heard. But uh, this is off the uh, big pay-per-view that they had. Um, I think Paige is one hell of a cool like like wrestler. You know, many people have their different opinions of him. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Uh, I really enjoy the Buckshot Lariat. I think it's fantastic. I think I dig the gimmick. I'm pretty sure there's nothing left. There isn't. I could throw this out. Although I know some uh, some people that, you know, save the crates. Nostalgia reasons. To recap, we have the Adam Page uh, autograph. The Cody Heart of the Mountain book. We have the... High Spots Wrestling Network presents Cactus Jack, Bang Bang. You know, best of Cactus Jack and ECW. By the way, High Spots Wrestling Network, best 999 in the biz. I'm not getting, like, money. I just like saying that because Eddie Kingston, man. Uh, <laughs> the Villain Marty Scroll pin. The Matt Cardona stomp figure. Micro Brawler. The CM Punk sticker. Uh, the Elite shirt. And the John Moxley shirt. Now, as I've done in many of my past videos, I always say the charity that Pro Wrestling Crate donates to. This month's charity, Staff Employment Fund. Instead of donating to an outside charity this month, we have decided to donate money into the PWT Staff Employment Fund to give the staff extra money due uh, to the reduced hours because of the Illinois shelter-in-place order from COVID-19. Totally understandable. Thank you for doing that, Pro Wrestling Tees. 
And as I do in every video, all wrestlers or their families work with pro wrestling tees and receive royalties from using their likeness. Pro wrestling tees, thank you. And as I say, these men and women, and some people who don't, you know, choose to choose a gender, and they, they're free to do whatever, they put their bodies on the line for our entertainment. Thank you so much for doing this. Next month, spoiler alert, blah, blah, blah. Next month's theme, oh, next month's theme, excuse me, Tag Teams Part 4. Featuring Brainbusters on and Tully, Edge and Christian, FTR, The Revival, uh, Steiner Brothers, The North, Ethan Page and uh, Alexander, uh, Crime Time, and Major Brothers. It's a Brian Myers stomp micro brawl. Now, uh, I, I know today is the 19th, and I know uh, it's May 19th, and I know that as I'm filming this, uh, the last past couple of days has been really hard because of the whole thing with the guy, uh, with, with Shad of uh, uh, Crime Time and him being lost in the ocean. I really do hope they do find them. Uh, I really hope the money goes to them next month's crate. Uh, it would be really great to uh, just help out that family, if anything, you know. Apparently I have a text message, and actually it's time to go. But my name is Frankie. I will be here next month, because I have everything fixed on my computer. And I'm running Final Cut Pro, so I have to. Uh, <laughs> I will be here next month. Yeah. Deuces.